much, Maz. And can I just start off by sending a message from here today, our solidarity greetings to the people of the United States who in their communities and in their campaigns and organisations are coming together in the same way that we're coming together to fight racism and to fight war. We stand together with them today. Yes. And this kind of solidarity, not only within communities, but internationally, across our communities, is more essential than it has ever been. Because I can't personally think of a more dangerous time in world politics for many, many decades. I think we're on the verge, potentially, of a nuclear war. It's closer now, I think, than it's been since the 1980s when President Reagan was talking about the evil empire of the Soviet Union. Some older of us remember those days, terrifying days. I think these days are no less dangerous and it's essential that we convey those dangers across wider society and to our politicians because it's like they're sleepwalking into disaster. They are not recognising what is going on. And I absolutely echo what Murad just said. We have to demand of our leadership, our Prime Minister and the different political party leaders that they say Britain must not be involved in any military action in the Korean Peninsula. Indeed, we must be demanding the denuclearisation of the Korean Peninsula. That is what is essential. But in terms of President Trump's warmongering, it is not only the terrible and great danger of nuclear war, which could destroy us all, it's also what Murad again referred to, that kind of creeping interventionism. We've seen that over the last decade and more from the US. We also hear now about the threats to military intervention in Venezuela. And I know, like many of you, I've been a long-time supporter of the pro progressive government in Venezuela since the days of President, the late President Hugo Chavez. Yeah. There's been so many attacks yeah. on that country, political attacks, economic attacks, undermining that progressive system over there. We need to say, no, we will not stand by and tolerate military attacks being put, built upon those uh, economic and political attacks. We have to stand together. Again, my message is international solidarity has never been so important. And to finish, uh, Maz, if I could just uh, remind people what's actually going on in Europe, in Eastern Europe, as we speak. The largest NATO military exercises for decades, if not ever. Hundred, tens, if not hundreds of thousands of military, NATO military forces in Eastern Europe up to the Russian border conducting these military exercises, ratcheting up the tension between the West and Russia, of course, uh, in creating a much greater threat and increasing international tension. So that is what the US supported by the UK, is doing on virtually every front. We cannot be silent, we are not silent, and we must escalate our protest and our action against these developments. Thank you very much.